Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 11th. Um, I decided to use a uh, an oracle deck just to get, well, this is kind of like an oracle deck, but it's a tarot deck as well. But anyway, we're going to get an overall energy with one of these cards, and then we're going to use that deck right there, and we're going to see what comes up. But this is just, you know, a daily energy, a daily preview of what's to come. This is just in some message that I'm picking up on today for the 11th or beyond, okay? So what do we got? What do we got? Intuition, going within. So with somebody's intuition is talking to them, somebody may be deciding to just go within, be alone, contemplate, um, listen. We got somebody here that is, is really listening okay this person is listening and doing it on their own it's like somebody may be isolating themselves to harness their power you know what i mean to gather the information that they need so this is a time of information gathering Somebody's intuition is giving them the messages that they need to hear, so make sure that you're listening. We have a, This is a very highly intuitive individual who knows something. This person knows. It's like, I know what I got to do. It's like they know. I know what I got to do. But doing it, wow, that's another story, right? I mean, somebody's like, I know what I got to do. I know what I got to do. Um, what do we got? Somebody is seeing a situation absolutely clearly. Death. Somebody's been holding on to a dead end and it's getting old. <laughs> and they know it. They know this is a dead end. Death card reversed. It's a dead end. It's time to release. Somebody knows it is. It's time to release. It's time for a change. It's time for a transformation. It's, it's time. And they know it is. But somebody is still holding on to the dead end. They haven't released it yet. Even though they know that they have to. A fool. Yeah, that would absolutely be a foolish thing now, wouldn't it? We got somebody here that is, is, is naive. Fearful. Afraid to take a risk. Even though their intuition is telling them, don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Follow your gut. You should be celebrating. You should be, you should be happy. It's about your happiness. It's about your dreams. It's about following your dreams. It's about receiving the blessings that you deserve. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope. It's a time to believe. Believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself, please. Stop holding on to the dead end that you are foolishly holding on to. Could be a third party situation. Somebody could be holding on to somebody. Who knows for what reason. But they do. But anyway, this is a blessing. This is a blessing. This is, this is a renewal. The hermit reversed, seeing the light coming out of hiding. This person's fearing rejection. If they follow their intuition, well, I don't want to grow old alone, so if I hang on to this dead end, at least I'll have somebody, right? Hmm. Now, this right here is, is fearing rejection. Definitely isolation. 
both of these cards, okay? This person is, 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 is like, their gut is really poking them. They are highly aware and they're ignoring it. But they see the light and they know what they need to do. They know where, the, where their dreams lie. They know where their wishes are. They know what they want. But there's, they need to have faith. And, you know, this person is really fearful of growing old alone. This person may be go experiencing a midlife price crisis. You know why? Because they're not honoring their truth. They're not following their intuition. And when you don't follow your intuition, shit rolls downhill because you're not happy. You didn't listen. Whatever. We're not. This could be a take forever. We're not going to do that. But anyway, if somebody is holding on to a dead end. And it's getting old. Oh, the wheel of fortune, the wheel of change. It's time. It's destined. It's, it's, it's time. It's time for a change. This is destiny. This is fate. This is an opportunity. For This is a lucky break. This is an opportunity for good fortune. But you have the free will. Free will plays a part in this card. Destiny is trying to nudge somebody in a new direction... And somebody's been holding on to the dead end, fighting the universe, fighting destiny. This is a 10. This is a completion. This is a chapter coming to an end. But somebody is holding on to that ending, not allowing it. But this is in the upright position. So I think this holding on to the dead end is just about over. I do. The wheel is spinning. And it's all happening for a reason. To bring you closer, closer to uh, your destiny. That's what's happening. Empress reversed. Oh my God. Somebody is struggling. Somebody is... Um, not taking very good care of themselves. They may not be taking very good care of their wife. <laughs> their wife may not be taking good care of their children or the person that they're dealing with may not be a very good wife or she may not be a very good mother or she may not be a very good person. Maybe she's smothering. Maybe she's jealous. Maybe she's lazy. Maybe she has a big ego. Whoever this person is. Maybe she's not really the Empress. Maybe she presented herself as the Empress, but she's really not the Empress. Maybe somebody, you know, was a fool. Maybe they got somebody got themselves involved with another person. And maybe they foolishly let go of the Empress. Who knows? This could go so many ways. Either way, it looks as though we definitely got a third party situation here. Nine of Pentacles. And the Princess of Cups reversed. So somebody has been not listening to their intuition their dreams have not they haven't been following their dreams their dreams have been talking to them they've been receiving messages through their dreams okay their dreams are very prominent here dreams are prominent here so it's like their dreams have been telling them speaking to them and it's like no you gotta go you gotta go you gotta go and we have this person who's ignoring maybe this other person is more attractive maybe this person is more um, adventurous. Maybe this person um, has more confidence. We do have one person here that is very confident, very attractive, very powerful. This is a force to be reckoned with right here. This person is a powerful force to be reckoned with. So I feel like we have somebody here that is fearful, definitely fearful, 
of following their intuition to go after their dreams because they're dealing with another person who is a force to be reckoned with. This person may, you know, need to let go of a third party situation to come together to have a reunion with this person. And you may not have even met this person in this lifetime. Okay? There's a potential reunion with somebody here. Destined. Okay? It's destiny. There's a destined, you know, relationship or coming together or whatever this is. It's destiny. It's meant to happen the way it's happening. It is. It, everything happens the way it's supposed to happen. But whatever. Anyway, somebody has been holding on to a dead end and it's it's hindering their ability to come together with their true wish fulfillment. But anyhow, we have a change in direction, a change of course. There's fear here. There's fear of abandonment, maybe. Maybe this person was abandoned by their mother when they were a child, you know? Whoever this person is, there's abandonment issues. And there's fear of abandonment. There's fear of being alone. So there's codependency here. So somebody's holding on to the dead end just because they don't want to be alone. This could have to be from because of mother. There's mother issues. There is mother issues. But there's an attractive opportunity here. But somebody needs to... <laughs> be strong enough to go after it so anyway we have this is this is we have, we have somebody here that is a force to be reckoned with somebody that is very self-sufficient somebody that is very independent somebody that is very abundant somebody that can take very good care of themselves and this person isn't probably now emotionally unavailable to this person who <laughs> held on to the dead end for so long so <laughs> We have a change, of course. Things are about to change. For the better. Things are about to change for the better. What's going to happen? It feels like we have somebody here that... Oh, is, is probably uh, suffering. This person is... Uh, the Three of Swords suffering. This person is hurting. This person is... is, is definitely suffering they're suffering over a loss of some sort but they're in love they are destined to head towards a soulmate so this is moving towards a soulmate it really is but there's there's pain involved here there's there's some sort of there's some sort of cut okay there's some sort of cut there's a third party cut it's giving up one for the other from three, the cut to two. So yeah, somebody is giving up one for the other. They've been avoiding challenge, but at this point they just want to protect. They want to protect, they want to protect the one they love. So I feel like we have somebody here that, you know, has realized that they have come too far to give up to give up on this true love, whoever it is. So we have a change. We have a change coming. And it has to do with a partner. It has to do with a change in, in partners. <laughs> and I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. Now, this will, will not resonate with everybody. But there's, there's definitely a change. I feel like something is coming back. Okay? I feel like something is coming back. I feel like... Or as two people are reuniting, is this is like a reunion of some sort. It is. It's a reunion of two people in love. Um, but you may not. You may not know this person. You may. You may not. So be prepared be prepared. I think you know this is coming. I think you've seen this is coming and it's about to happen. Something big is about to happen and it has to do with, you know, letting go of a false partnership for your destined soulmate. That's what I got. I mean, I can't. It's, that's it. Good luck.